Oh, Here we are. Here we are. Coming to you live from for another close comparison. Eddie Tiemann and uh, Horn are. Uh, you just fucked up my name. You butchered it. That's I mean. Did. That's I mean. Did. How long uh, have we doing? How long have we been collabing for? Come on. Uh, Knights of Horror. The, you know what's gonna on. like. You know what I want to do as a cool picture is like when we finally meet in person. Is both of us wearing our East versus West shirts? Me having my I had a freaking arm over your shoulder and just doing like a fucking crazy ass picture or something like that. Yeah, you're gonna be much taller than me. It doesn't like, matter. Well, not much taller. Three inches. We got you're we got to twin right? it out though. We got to like plan like what we're gonna wear one night for HHN. Like we got to rep East versus West while we're there. Hell yeah! Like the face masks, everything, man. Like East versus West. Got to wear the shirt, the face mask, some shorts because I know it's gonna be fucking hot as balls. Yes, and, uh, dude, if you if you can wear like a, a a tank top and shorts all the time, you'll be the best. Yeah, I'm not really a tank top guy because I'm too fat for it, but you know, that's okay, man. That's let just let, me. Let a roll show, you know. I'm not a skinny <laughs> guy myself. <laughs> What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to East versus West, the uh, you're the only show that gives you the dose of both coasts, man. Yes, haven't, sir. haven't used that one in a cool minute. I know we didn't use it on our last video, so I know we got to bring it back. We're bringing it yeah. back every episode. Dose of both coasts, man. It says that on our T-shirt. That's our that's our motto. That's our logo. Eddie came up with that one, so you know. No, been... that dose of both coasts was actually Sammy. I'm not that was, take that was Sammy. Yeah, that's yeah, right. man. I'm not gonna take his shine. That was that Sammy. That was Sammy. That was Sammy. You were the one that yeah. first brought it into the show, though. Yeah, I think I I I came up with East versus West. Yeah, Sammy came up with Dose of Both Coasts. Yeah, that was like later on down the line too when we started doing more episodes. So. Yep. And uh, on that note, my name's Eddie from Entertainment. My name's Anthony from the Knights of Horror. If you haven't already, make sure to check out both of our channels. Subscribe right. if you haven't. Click that bell icon so you're notified when we put out content. Um, also, on Anthony's Teespring, I'll let him talk a little bit about that. Hey, Eddie, did you know we had East versus West merch? No way. We do. Really? We have T-shirts. We have long sleeves. We have tank tops. We have hoodies. We got sweatshirts. We've got stickers. And we've got face masks. All East versus West designed on Teespring. Links in the description below. Buy your East vs. West merch. So when we see you at Halloween Horror Nights this year, you can rock the East vs. West merch with us. And, yeah. What's it look like? It looks like this right here, man. Yeah! East vs. West. Anthony oh. Eddie, your ghost of both coasts. <laughs> little anchor for the East Coast. A little palm tree for the West Coast. And in the back, both of our logos. Hey. Buy it now, man, because we would love to share your guys' DMs, your pictures that you send to us on social media. We will share them on our social medias to show off your awesome merch. Hell so yeah. buy it now. Coming on Eddie's Teespring real soon. So what are we doing today, sir? Today we are doing another coast comparison. This one was requested um, on Eddie's channel to do the Universal Monsters coast comparison. Now, if you guys don't know, Universal What's Monsters, go for it. I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. Let's give a shout out to the person who requested it. I mean, Yeah, I, I don't know the like, name. That's why. Let, I, I'm going to pull them up right now. Yeah. I'm gonna pull them up right now. Thank, thank you for requesting it. Yeah, that was it's highly appreciated. Let's see, uh, it was the Badger 2025. All right, Badger 2025. This one's for you and all the haunt fanatics out there who want to see these coast comparisons. Um, this one's a good one. So if you guys don't know, on the West Coast, Universal Monsters debuted in 2018 with music by Slash. It was an original maze, uh, an original take on the Universal Monsters that Murdy had uh, an idea for. And that, what was that, an advertisement? Yeah. <laughs> um, Murdy had an idea for as far as uh, to bring the Universal Monsters, but kind of twist them up, make them look a little bit different, and um, kind of put their own twist on the Universal Monsters. You know, they took some stuff from the movies and stuff, but they really put their own twist on the Universal Monsters, which was really cool. Kind of told like an original story overall, which was really cool to see all of them. Um, and then in 2019, Universal Monsters would make a return at Halloween Horror Nights in the West Coast with Universal Monsters, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, another original maze, music by Slash again. Um, original maze based around Frankenstein and the Wolfman. Of course, that is an iconic movie, but Murdy did his own twist and made it a little bit more darker for a maze. And uh, this would be the same year that uh, Universal Studios Orlando would pick up the property and do their own uh, fun twist on it. and um, 
So today we're going to be reviewing the 2018's Universal Monsters, the first year it ever came to our event. And we're going to be reviewing 2019's Universal Monsters, the first year it ever came to Orlando's event. Now, the reason why we did these two is because um, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, uh, I don't know if it will ever make it to Orlando or not because so far it's speculated that both coasts are going to be getting the brides. So we decided to compare Universal Monsters 2018 over here on uh, the West Coast, which was pretty much all the monsters that used in 2019's uh, Universal Monsters at the East Coast, except for one monster that the East Coast got that the West Coast didn't, which was the creature from the Black Lagoon. So yeah. we're going to see who did a better job uh, as far as the detail goes, as far as uh, scenes, as far as um, overall what the maze just looked like. And we're going to do a final comparison and a final verdict at the end of this video. So we're going to start, of course, with Universal Monsters over in the West Coast in 2018. I'm excited. This was one of my favorite mazes of all time. Um, so let's just get let's just get to it. Uh, we're going to start the video in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Universal Monsters. This was in the Parisian courtyard for all of you guys that don't know. Yep. It's like oh, one I like of the that. main. Shout out to Theme Park HD as well. Yeah. This is from Theme, Theme Park, Park HD. HD uh, records probably some of the best low light footage I've ever seen. I got to find out what camera this guy uses because I want the same footage. Yeah, that, the footage is amazing. I, I like this facade. I like the like a uh, kind of like a uh, neon paint. Yeah, so what Murdy did with this facade was uh, in, I guess, in, like, Paris, there's a cemetery that has, like, where Jim Morrison's buried at, actually. There's, like, spray paint and everything all over it, so he took inspiration from that. So this right here is still part of the line, or are you actually in the This is the there? first part of the maze. So this is, this took place, this first part took place in a graveyard outside. Uh, this was, like, your opening kind of scene. There's your first And then scare. it goes into the actual maze, which you'll see right now. That was Frankenstein right there, right? The first guy. That's Frankenstein, yeah. So you're you're in the graveyard right now. You're seeing all their tombs and all their all their um their gra you know their graves and stuff. So you saw Dracula. Black walls. What's up? <laughs> Black walls. Black walls, yeah. Ooh, that looks dope. So that's supposed to be Frankenstein from the movie where he kills the little girl and he's mourning her. Aw. And I, I think on the left, the Wolfman does pop out. So that's pretty cool too. Look at the quality of this guy's video. What's up? Look at the quality of this guy's video. Not a grain yeah. in sight. This guy's cool, man. Whoa. And then this is your black wall hallway. <laughs> uh, and then this takes you outside to the actual maze. So that was like the beginning part. This okay. transfers you into the actual maze, and you'll see the actual facade for the maze, which is Frankenstein's castle on fire ah. post-Frankenstein. So you had like a little like precursor to the actual... Maze. The actual maze, yeah. So these are all the uh, oh, I like the, that uh, clean. The rioters outside of Frankenstein's uh, castle. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So they're coming to kill the monster. Yeah. Frankenstein's monster. He might have got it through a cache right there. Frankenstein's supposed to pop out, which was really cool. So and then you go into the vault, which is really cool. This was a movie vault of all the classic monster movies. And you see all the posters and everything. So this is basically what you're going to be seeing in the maze. All these and before monsters. anybody calls us out in the comments, we understand that it is Frankenstein's monster. But we've been calling him Frankenstein for yeah. the past like, minute. We know that Frankenstein's the actual doctor. We are professionals, okay? Okay, so they <laughs> missed that scare. On my video, I, I got it. But there, there's a scare in the projector. This is cool. This is the Invisible Man. But in the projector screen, uh, Frankenstein actually pops out. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. And people have been saying that the Invisible Man will be a horrible maze. That was like the only scene he got, which kind of pissed me off. But now we have understandable. The, that's a difficult one to pull off. The Phantom of the Opera. Oh, dude, your sets are dope. Holy crap. This is cool. Is this a sprung tent? Uh, yeah. I mean, they do tents. It's got a little different. Your your tents look like they kind of looks like a circus where you can go indoors and stuff. Ours mm -hmm. are literally just black tents that like go along, and then they build around the walls around them and stuff. Gotcha. 
So are 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 they air conditioned? No. Oh. They're all, but it doesn't get as hot over here in California than it does in Orlando. Yeah, Orlando's are air conditioned, then they must be. Like in the yeah. beginning of the night, it'll be very hot, but there'll be some, sometimes it'll be warm. But in the beginning of the night, it'll be kind of hot because it's still kind of dying down. And then at the end of the night, it's, it's actually, it feels really nice. It's really nice and like, comfortable. Who, and who nice are those people degrees. that were hanging? Uh, they're just bodies. Okay. And now you're going into the Dracula scene, I, I believe. Yeah, so this is Dracula's castle. There's the Wolfman. Oh. Oh, shoot. That was a dope little, like, practical effect. Yeah. I always love the wolf puppets from American Werewolf. Yeah. And that looks a lot like it. No, our American Werewolf had really good wolf puppets, and they kind of reused them, which is really good and smart because they look dope. So now you're in Dracula's castle with his brides, and this is supposed to be, like, the big dinner scene. Ooh. And then, you know, they throw in the... The wolf okay. man in there just to kind of throw it in there. Now you're transitioning into the mummy. We might see these brides in right? the, this year's event. So here's the mummy. Where that coffin is behind him, the mummy usually popped out. It depends on the There it is right there. What is that? This scene was dope. That, that was a uh, was that Quasimodo? That was a uh, uh, Igor. Igor. Okay, my bad. There's the bride. So Frankenstein would come out, flip a switch, and the whole room would blow up, which looked dope. Oh, oh this looks dope. This looks like uh, something out of like a uh, Poltergeist. Right. Oh. The mummy. Not Brendan Fraser's The Mummy, unfortunately. No, the uh, OG Mummy from the 1930s. But then it went out into a scare zone, which was really cool. That's that's something that's really cool. I never seen that done in any of the houses at at Orlando. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, oh, he didn't he didn't go into the scare zone, but that was basically it. it I, I wanted to see zone. it. Yeah, the scare zone's cool. It was kind of like a the way I can explain it. It was like a uh, they were having like a ball. And, like, everyone was kind of dressed up as the characters, um, but they were, like, supposed to be the characters dressed up as different characters, which looked yeah, really Wasn't cool. it, like, a masquerade or something like that? Yeah, in a called? way, yeah. It was It was something like that. It looked really cool, though. But, no, that was that was really cool. I, I enjoyed that maze a lot, and um, I thought they did a really good job on it. All right, I'm pulling up Orlando's. Orlando's is next, yep. But, uh... This is so... Scary. For those, I mean, it, it already would have dropped by now. But this is your, I, I don't, and I don't know the winner yet, so don't quote me on this. But is this the, is this the the building you had the idea for the it maze that you pitched um, for maze treatments? Oh, you mean like the the sound stage? Yeah, not necessarily. So. Um, when, you, when you said projection and stuff, this is a this is the first thing that came to mind when I when I yes. thought about it. So I. This is this is where I wanted to take the the influence from. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't necessarily need to be in this building because that's not necessarily like your typical soundstage. Um, I, I would prefer it potentially in like one of like the Stranger Things or Poltergeist soundstage. Right. Um, because if, I, I'm even, in my video, I even take a little bit from Poltergeist as well. Um, Shameless plugs. Major, yeah. let's watch it. Right. The the videos have already been entered, so Josue can't can't change anything, right? Yeah, no. All right, cool. <laughs> now, now he he hears this before the video comes out. He's gonna be like, "Oh shoot, I gotta change this." No, the videos already out. I, okay. Trust me, I, I I I know what I'm doing. All right, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, so this this effect, not necessarily this building. Yeah. Soundstage in general is really what I wanna what I wanna have it in. Right. But uh, all right, Universal Monsters at Halloween Horror Nights 29, Universal Orlando. I got – who's who's the I got up? I got the Dis. Is that the one you have up? No, I got Theme Park HD. Okay, let me pull up Theme Park HDs. I mean, the the guy's quality is amazing. Why why even divert? Right. All right, so here we go. We're going to do Universal Monsters at Halloween Horror Nights 29. 
Universal Orlando. Now, I, from my understanding, music by Slash wasn't involved in this one. No, no, no music by an artist. It was just, it was just it was kind of its own there. thing, right? Yeah, but okay. uh, this house was impressive to say the least. And I, I'm gonna try to remember everything and point it out to you because there were certain things that I told you about this house that I thought were amazing. Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Theme Park HD. I notice he changes his intros for yeah, it's not Orlando and Hollywood. H- yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not always Theme Park HD, but I like the little Theme Park HD. I wonder if that's a media thing. Maybe. So, oh man, he skipped right in. Okay, so you pass that projection wall, which he yeah. didn't show much of it, and this is the in- initial like entry facade where you see all the characters here. I thought the statues were really cool. It is. They were amazing. Like, if they could make a little, like, bus version of them for, like, collectibles, I'd so buy them. Yeah. That's so you cool. enter straight into the Wolfman. That's cool. Oh, it's a cool shotgun effect. It didn't yeah. even pop out, though. Yeah, there's, uh, whatchamacallit's name. El- Abolt or a bolt. There's another Wolfman. The Wolfman looked really cool. Yeah. They didn't use as much of the, the puppeteering like they did in your maze. All right, where are we at now? Right now, we are... I, I think this was the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. That's a cool effect. Or is it, oh, yeah, because you're in the bell tower. Okay, I get it. Yeah. That's cool. And creature. here... Creature, look at this. You're underwater with him. Creature Okay, you see... You have the like kelp and stuff hanging from above, and look above. There's a boat. There's actually a boat. So it, this is supposed to be as if you're underwater. Yeah, this is dope. It's yes, it was crazy when you walked through it. When I walked through it, like I was able to instantly notice that what they want me to believe is that I am underwater with them. Looks like they took a little something from the cookbook, man. John Cook. A lot of underwater effects over at Knotts. And that that was basically it for him, but I thought that portion of it that was, was amazing. And then this is Dracula. I'm glad and they gave your brides actual makeup rather than a freaking mask. And there he is himself. It's Dracula, yep. Nosferatu. The floating. Oh man, I, I miss this maze. This the brides house look actually pretty beautiful. East Coast. And that's what they're supposed to look like, is like beautiful. Because they're yeah. supposed to be like very sed- seductive and trying to seduce you and stuff. It's basically Florida women. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> what is this? The mummy? Yes. Oh wow. There he is. That was cool. Yeah. And, Double scare. Yeah, and those sound effects when you're there, you feel the bass. It's amazing. And you got all the hieroglyphics and everything. That was cool. And Where are we at now? now? Hmm. I don't remember. The Phantom. Phantom. The Phantom of the Opera again. I can tell by the music. Yeah. Yeah, this part was amazing because they, they kind of used uh, mirrors as well to kind of throw you off. Yeah. Um, Is that a really? Tesla coil? Oh, over here. yeah. Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory. Yes, sir. That guy would put Frankenstein. Oh, it's Dr. Frankenstein on the table this time. Yes, it is. Dr. Frankenstein's on the table. And the guy who put Frankenstein's that, fucking huge, though, dude. Yeah, he was at least like six, eight up. Who's that he, supposed to be? Uh, I think that was Nosferatu again, but there's Frankenstein. Frank, that guy looked dope. Where are we at now? Now oh, it's we, Dracula. And I think this was like a mixture. This is like where the set and the scene or the, the person in, influencing the scene wasn't necessarily... Yeah, I'm re- recording real quick. There's Frankenstein's okay. bride. Yeah. And there she is, the Exeos. Oh, oh, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was the Frankenstein... Oh, not Frankenstein. That was Universal Monsters at HHN 29. Um, that was dope. I have to say, um, what they did with this maze was truly something different than what they did with uh, the one in Hollywood. They kind of did their own thing on it, which was really yeah. cool. 
Um, they use the basic overall premise of uh, being like an original thing, but taking their own take on it. Um, I would have to say I, I would prefer Orlando's over ours, but I wish they would maybe add the music by Slash um, because I feel like it could fit in pretty good with the Orlando maze. Um, just hearing that soundtrack, I think it could fit good, but I think they did a good job, especially when you went to the um, the Phantom of the Opera scene, of course, and he's playing the piano, which is a really yeah. iconic scene. Uh, and I, I think I really love the creature scene, even though how short it was, they did a really good job immersing you underwater. Um, the statues were dope. Going every giving everybody kind of their own thing was really cool. So that was a very solid start for Universal Monsters to come into the event over in Orlando. Yeah, um, of course, and a fan favorite too. So yeah, no, it, it was my my number two that year, only because number it would have been number one, honestly. Uh, but number my number one, I had to I had to give it to somebody else just because they caught me off guard and they were like number eight on my original list. Yeah, um, but it it was an amazing maze. The the um, creature portion that that video doesn't even do it justice right. and I'm, I'm sure anybody who actually walked through it will tell you that a hundred percent that video does not do the creature portion any justice um the also one thing that he did not capture on there and we did not see is the entryway facade with uh when you're entering the building um not the the little walkthrough with the statues but prior to that when you're in line there's projection mapping on the building which was actually really cool yeah um and it, when you were in line, it kind of like got your nerves going, set you up for what was happening in there. But one thing I will say is just watching both um, from both coasts, yours seemed a lot longer. Like they they put a lot more scenes into it. Uh, when we watched mine, I was like, I was like, this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> when we were watching yours, I was like, I was like, oh. There, there's another scene. Oh shoot! There's another scene. Oh damn! There's another scene. Yeah, yours yeah. seemed a little bit longer than mine. You had that, um, that kind of like pre uh, walkthrough. Then you yeah. go through a walkthrough, and then you exit into a scare zone, which is really cool. Um, and your scenes were were amazing, but the differences are ridiculous. They they were definitely two different mazes. Right. No, they, I agree. Yeah, they didn't really like uh, copy each other at all. They all, um, they they took the actual. It looks like Orlando took just took the concept of Universal Monsters, the exact like masks and sculpts that they have and everything, and just put their own twist on it with sound effects, different kind of musics, and um, the characters that they brought in with the creature. It looks like that. That's why if you kind of look at the creature compared to the rest of the monsters, the rest of the monsters have like a very dark and twisted kind of uh, spin on them. The creature, because Universal Hollywood didn't do the creature they kind of just took the, the creature costume that they've had like over the years that they've used, which still wasn't bad. It looked cool, but they kind of just took that creature costume and just put it in because we didn't use the creature at all. And I don't think Murdy put a, an original twist on the creature yet, because I think with this, with this universe of universal monsters at Horror Nights, he wants to make them more uh, scarier and, and twisted Whether in, you know, the, the thirties and stuff, they weren't nearly that like scary or anything, but now it's like, he wants to, have like burned faces and make them a little bit more evil. Like if you look at Dracula, he looks like evil and the Wolfman looks evil and you know, the Phantom looks evil. So it's like, he's trying to really put that evilness into these characters to make yeah. them a lot more serious and a lot more scarier, which I think is really cool. And Orlando just did the same thing. They, they literally took their characters, did an original story and just made them as scary as possible. What I did like though, too, is your guys' Dracula's brides didn't wear masks. They were all makeup and prosthetics, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. Um, and I think I like that a lot more about Orlando is they use a lot more makeup and prosthetics rather than masks. If they cannot use a mask, they'll go that route if they have to, you know, it's like they would rather use more prosthetics and makeup than more than masks. And they only use masks when it's absolutely necessary or if they actually need to, to yeah. actually make the scene better. Yeah. For the most part, the, <laughs> the worst prosthetics I've ever seen were uh, Jack and the shining. The shining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I, I really liked your maze, uh, honestly, and it, it was a bit longer too, which I always enjoy a long maze. That's what she said. No. But um, the, I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of split. I really enjoyed walking through mine personally, um, and I thought it was amazing. The the creature um, walkthrough portion was so immersive to make you believe that you were underwater, and I was able to believe it like that. Like it instantly, I walked in and I said, "Oh shoot." I'm underwater. 
Yeah. I'm not getting wet. <laughs> I could breathe. Yeah. So I'm obviously not underwater, but it, it gave you that illusion. Right. Um, but yours, um, just overall the sets and also how, the, the fact that you had like a, it was almost like a, a, a an intro to your YouTube video, you know? Right. You had an intro to the house before you actually got to the house. Right. That was really cool. No, that was cool, yeah. No, I, I like the Orlando one a lot because of Creature and, and uh, the original scenes they came up with. So it's a, it's a split split, man. You like mine, I like yours. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't say one or the other one. We, we kind of just made each other fans of each other's events. Right. So, all right, that is going to do it for Coast Comparison. Be sure to tune in to the channel next week where we have a, a special guest coming on, a scare actress that worked at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood. Stay tuned. It's going to be a fun one. I'm excited to talk with her. And, yeah, it's going to be fun. Of course, check out our merch, T-shirts, and um, just the rest of our merch. Uh, East versus West merch available now on the Teespring website. Face masks, uh, long sleeves, tank tops, sweatshirts, uh, hoodies, women's T-shirts, all available now. So check it out. Uh, my name's Anthony. And my name's Eddie. And you've watched East versus West, your dose of both coasts. We will see you guys next week. Deuces.